Look, I want you to understand how crazy this is. Like, getting Jack, getting swole, building muscle, however you want to say it. Everyone says it differently, but it literally turns you into a celebrity. It's hard for me to explain, but I've experienced this in real time. So I'll try to explain this in an adequate way for you. But it's like when you walk into a restaurant, right? You're walking in, your clothes are fitted, your shirt's hugging your, your, your bicep, your chest is filling out the shirt. People look at you. People want to know who is this person? What do they do? Why? What is this? Or you have like this celebrity like aura when you walk into a place. And it's because you have something that most people don't. You have a physique that most people have not attained and they've either not attained it because they're, they're unaware that they need to and they're complacent. So they're good. They don't know that they need to, or that they're just lazy and they just don't have the effort to be able to put into it. So you have something that so many people desire. And especially if you do it naturally, because one thing I will say, if you're taking, you know, steroids, if you're taking anything like that, you're not going to look natural. You're People are going to know. And people who are already in the fitness world will know, right? And people are starting to get more educated about it so they can see certain telltale signs. But if you're natural and you've really trained, like I've trained for 10 years, haven't taken anything, and now my physique is what it is now, anywhere that I go, literally, it's people looking at me, people coming up to me, people ask me, hey, what's your Instagram? Oh, bro, you inspire me, you this, you that. You're getting so much attention. And again, it's not about having attention just for the sake of vanity, but it's for the sake of inspiration. Like my whole life perspective is how many people can I inspire during my time on planet earth? And I believe that that's what most of you want. You want to be able to inspire people by your actions. And the easiest way to inspire people, the easiest way to capture attention, which can also lead to opportunities, right? Because, and Matt, I know a lot of you watching this right now, you could walk into a room right now and nobody would notice that you walked in. And that's one of the saddest experiences that, honestly, I've felt. When I was super skinny, when I was super scrawny, I'd walk into a room, people not looking at me. For what? I have nothing that someone else does not have, Right? I don't have something that someone can aspire to have. So by having an elite level physique, by having a jacked, swole physique, you as a man now stand out from the sea of men, at least in America, that are not that are not actually dealing with their health. They're not dealing with, you know, how their body looks. And it's not just your body, especially when you're doing it in a healthy way. When you're building muscle, when you're eating clean, when you're in the gym, you're sweating, your skin glows, your whole face changes. You get a lean face, all that fat right there go away. So you get to a point where everything just works for you. Women come up to you. Man, you right now that's watching this video, you may not get approached by women. I guarantee if you get in shape right now and you you lose all that fat there or you start getting some structure and you start filling out those, those, those black shirts, those basic shirts, you will start getting approached. It's crazy. You live a different experience than most men by just being in shape. Now, what I will caveat, because a lot of haters will get in the comments and say, well, you know, you can get jacked, but th that you have to have game. You have to have confidence. Yes, you have to have confidence. You have to have social skills. But I promise you, it is a lot easier to have social skills when you know you look good. When you know you, you know you're somebody that people want to look at. Right. When a celebrity walks into a restaurant, everyone looks at that celebrity and they want to get to know that person. They want to know who is this person? Oh, this person is here. I want to go talk to this person. They gravitate towards that person. There's a celebrity aura when you're jacked, when you're swole, when you got muscle, when you walk into a place, especially if you're well dressed and everything's tailored up and everything just fits you so nice. Everyone comes up to you. Everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody wants to know who you are. And it's a cheat code, even in business. I know a lot of y'all that are in this right now, you want to be able to go have a successful business. You want to be able to sell more. You want to be able to make more money. Getting jacked will make you more money. It's a fact. And it's because you look a certain way so people trust you, right? People want to do business with you. You have to understand there's an interesting phenomenon where very wealthy people will have these almost jock-like or athlete-type younger people around them. So if you're young right now, the easiest shortcut to getting into wealthy circles is getting as ripped and as jacked as possible. Because at the end of the day, those same people with money, you can't compete with them. You can't, you can't compete with them on the money side. You can't compete with them on the success side of things, right? But you can compete with them on how they look because a lot of them don't look good. 
a lot of them don't even have time to look good. So while you have the time to build the foundation, they didn't have time to build the foundation. Build that up so that you can get into the network because that'll accelerate your level of success faster by being around wealthy people. And if you start noticing, wealthy people always have those certain guys, whether they're professional athletes or they're people who just ex look extremely aesthetically nice that they want around them because it elevates their status. Being jacked, being swole, having muscle elevates status. It is a status symbol. That is what most of you don't understand. That's why you're not taking this serious. And that's why I'm here telling you this will literally change your life if you get in shape. Male or female, but I'm talking to men right now. This will literally change your dating life. It will change your business life. It'll change your love life. It'll change everything. Like, literally everything. You'll start to get way more opportunities thrown your way. People will want to include you in a lot more things. You'll, when you're at the gym, people will want to talk to you. People will want to ask you for advice. You're going to start to feel useful, right? You're going to start to feel seen. The problem with a lot of men these days, they're not feeling seen. How do you feel seen? Get in shape. And I know a lot of people will be like, well, if everybody gets in shape, then it won't really matter anymore. It's not going to be important. The, the, the reality is everyone's not going to get in shape. Only 1% of you that's watching this video right now are actually going to go out there and get in the best shape of your life. And you're going to see exactly what I'm seeing for myself. You're going to experience exactly what I'm experiencing, right? Obviously, I have other features that could give me an advantage, but the base level of getting in shape has already provided me with significant advantage in life. It's pulled me into rooms with billionaires. Man, imagine walking walking and brushing shoulders with a billionaire and they stop you and they touch you and they're like, how can I look like this? And that's an instant like net, networking one-on-one. -on -one. There always needs to be an icebreaker. Somebody needs to break the ice. Preferably, it should be the person that you want to talk to, not you. But if it's you, you can still do it. Imagine somebody with a, bil with a billion dollar net worth stopping you and asking you a question, wanting information from you, someone who has not even a fraction of the amount of money, the, the success, none of that. But the fact that you're in shape, you have something that that person does not have. They want, but here's the thing. You might say, well, that billionaire could go ahead and go train and look the same way. You have to understand Certain people are wired in different ways. There are people who they're wired to be very successful in their physical state as well as their financial state. Those are ultimate outliers in life, right? That's where I strive to be. I am an outlier in the financial realm and the physical realm and the mental world. So all three, that's the gold pill. Drop that, the gold pill. But at the end of the day, you will have people who are categorized on each side. You'll have the super crazy bodybuilders or, or fitness freaks that they're only they're only good at the fitness side. You'll have, you know, really good business people, financial executives, people who are really good with money, know how to make money, and they'll they'll overcompensate on that side. They won't look at the other side. And you'll have two polar opposites. And it's not until you can bring both together or you can take one aspect and bring it to the other, that's when you become a complete person. So you see this divide, and as you being somebody, and I'm sure you don't have a billion dollars, I'm sure you want to start increasing how much money you make. Get in shape. That like that's the, the ticket. That's the membership access to elite status places. Getting pulled into things. Getting attention on the internet. Why do you think you watched this video right now? You clicked on it because you saw how I looked and you were like, "What does this person have to say?" Now I could just look good and just stand here and just feed you nonsense, or I can also develop my mind. That's another thing. As you're getting in shape, develop your mind. Develop how you speak. Talk to random cashiers. I'm giving you holistic game, but. At the baseline, look good, right? Physically, make sure that you look good. And for people who think that, oh, I don't want to train too much because I'm going to look like a bodybuilder. You won't. You will not look like a professional level bodybuilder by training as hard as you can. They take performance enhancing drugs. That's very different. If you go natural, there is no way you're going to look gross by lifting as much as possible, by exerting as much energy in the gym as possible. You will not. It's literally impossible. I've trained, I've trained twice a day for a long time. I've trained every single, I've been training for 10 years consistently. And look how I look now. I don't look gross. I look like a regular person who's just jacked, who looks in shape. I may look like a superhero, but I'm not going beyond that. Unless I start taking random things that these people take. I'm not a fan of that. And I can go into a video of why I will never go that route. But at the end of the day, at least get jacked. At least start building your physique. It is your ultimate stat. It is your passport to wherever you want to go in life. Literally. 
Because at the end of the day, people can cope and say, it's not about how you look, it's about how you think. But humans look at you before they talk to you. They look at what you're wearing, they look at how you look, and they subconsciously already put you in a category based on how you present yourself. So if you present yourself as a fat slob, people are going to subconsciously place you in lazy, not trustworthy, does not care about themselves. So they won't care about me. They won't care about my business. They won't care about my network. They're going to be lazy. They're not going to take advantage of opportunities. Oh, bucket, right? Now, you may say, well, there are a lot of fat, wealthy people, fat, successful people. Sure, they overemphasize or they overcompensated on the financial aspect of things. But in reality, in the back of your mind, you're still like fat slob, fat slob, fat, uh, mm, can't trust him, can't trust him. Uh, mm, he's all right. He's cool. He has money. So let me go. So now people start coming to you for money, right? It's very different. You see men, for example, that they complain about gold diggers. Well, you wouldn't complain about gold diggers if you just got in shape and you looked amazing, right? That people who are in shape, people who are actually jacked and swole and look good, they don't have an issue with gold diggers. Because they are attracted to them. They're not attracted to their money. They're attracted to them, their physique, their charisma, how they carry themselves. And if you haven't known by now, if you go to the gym and you consistently work, you're going to build confidence because you're putting in the work. See, a lot of these bodybuilders that take shortcuts and take um, performance enhancing drugs, not to compete, by the way, that's a whole different side of things. But just for recreational purposes, these psalms, goblins, all these little kids doing it, they're never going to be confident because they're never going to have put in the work that they should have to get there. They're, they're literally going to live with this thought of, I took a shortcut. I don't deserve this right now. They're going to be permanently small inside. But if you put in the work consistently, you're going to have permanent confidence. I have permanent confidence because I put in the work day after day. I built what I have right now. It took 10 years and I did it, right? Now it's permanent. I know I have the ability to do it. It's the same. If you've already hit a mil million dollars, you will permanently have the confidence that you can consistently hit a million dollars. It's the same with your body. So you need to get there. Start today. Don't start yesterday. Don't click off this video and go back to eating ice cream and chilling with your girl on the couch watching Netflix. Go to the gym. Eat clean. Eat better, not even just clean. You just eat better. Eat whole foods. Figure out what your macros are, right? Do that type of stuff because that's what's going to help you move forward in life. I can't emphasize this enough. So I hope this video inspired you. I hope this video motivated you. If you want to turn into a celebrity, you have to be able to train. You have to be able to get your body in elite condition. And I promise you, anywhere you walk, people will look. People want to talk to you. People want to do favors for you, just like how they were a celebrity. So if you like this video, Tap in, comment, like, subscribe. I got more videos coming out. Join my free newsletter that I'm doing, free email newsletter. I send out a lot of gems pretty unregularly. I don't do it every day. I don't do it every week. I just do it whenever I feel like it. So you'll be able to get a gem from me once in a while. So appreciate you again. I'm going to catch you on the next video. Stay jacked, turn into a celebrity. Let's turn up.